Missouri Valley Conference season tips tonight with a critical game here at the Top Center as the second place ISU Redbirds take on the conference leading Panthers of Northern Iowa. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Cedar Falls, Iowa for Illinois State University basketball here on Comcast. Kurt Peckler along with Bob Morris. What a game we have for you tonight. Northern Iowa at 8 and 1 with a chance to go perhaps three games up in the conference race with a three tonight. The ISU Redbirds trying to get within a game of first place with a road win this evening. Now, Bob, we know that Champa Gucci and Osiris Eldridge have been consistently good for the Redbirds this year. The guy really comes on strong lately has been Dima Yacosa, and the birds will count on him tonight. Uh, there's no question that Dima Oriosa is a real horse in the middle for the birds. Six foot eight, 240 pounds, the Red Jr. is playing his best basketball right now when they truly need him. Everybody in the conference knows of his strength and muscular approach when it comes to rebounding, but the thing he's been adding lately has been some offensive punch. The Redbirds have been much in that in the middle. And the last seven ball games, he's shooting at 70% clip, which now puts him at first in the Missouri Valley Conference, 61% for the entire season. They're going to need him tonight in the middle to be a true force. Meanwhile, Northern Iowa is the hottest team in the league. The Panthers have won eight games in a row, and perhaps the hottest player in the Valley is Adam Cook. He's the reigning Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Week. He's won the award twice in the month of January. He's awesome. He's in the role right now that very few players get to be at. And he, he's serving it because of the, his approach to the game. He plays hard. He plays smart. He plays outside. He plays inside. At 6-2-4, he utilizes his height in a variety of ways that not many players are capable. He is a young man who's come off his best game of the season. Also, Kurt, when at last weekend at Missouri State, he scored a team high 30 points. It's a big, big game tonight here at Cedar Falls. First place, North Iowa. Second place, ISU. Day two, and the opening tip is up next. Here on Comcast. Van Gundy Insurance is a resource for insurance services in Central Illinois since 1946. When it's time to receive your business insurance coverage, consult with agent Dave McGrew to receive optimum value for your premium. As your business expands, Dave will work with you to expand your coverage. If you have out-of-state locations, need doctors and office coverage, or employment practices liability coverage, take advantage of Dave McGrew's experience. Visit our website at VanGundy.com or stop by our office in Normal. Insure with confidence at Van Gundy Agency. Looking for a way to get into it without breaking the bank? Try Illinois State University Recreation Services. Whether you're a student or a community member, we offer a variety of membership options and programs to fit your wallet and your lifestyle. Personal training, fitness, racquetball, basketball courts and track, plus much more. Fit in something to get active for less with Illinois State University Recreation Services. For information, call 438-PLAY. Visit our site or come see us at the corner of Beach and Willow in Normal. Dance, walk, move, even the smallest step counts. Celebrate the Day of Dance for Health. February 28th, 8 a.m. to noon at the Heartland Community College Workforce Development Center. Admission is free, donation of perishable food items, or a cash donation to Midwest Food Bank. Day of Dance sponsored by Broman Healthcare and Heartland Community College. For more information, please visit our website or call 1-877-270-4960. Missouri Conference Basketball, Illinois State, and Northern Iowa, two of the top three teams in the league doing battle here to kick off the second half of the Valley season. Let's take a look at the starting lineups tonight. The change in the starting five for Illinois State, Osiris Bruch, Emmanuel Hockey, Lloyd Phillips, Champa Gucci, and Dima Nikos in the five start for Tim Savich. Northern Iowa counters with Johnny Moran, Joe Ahelic, Ali Farokanish, Adam and Seven-footer Jordan Engelseeder is not going to start tonight's game. Instead, they're going to go with the native of Nashville, okay, Lucas O'Rear, who's made 14 of his last 19 shots in his four games. He played very well for the Panthers. He gets to start of Jordan Engelseeder. The Redbirds come 17 and overall, 6 and 3 in the conference. Coach Tim Jankovic in his second season, 42 wins, 13 losses. Coach, he's worked under Eddie Sutton, and Hartman, Kevin Stallings, Bill Self, the great bloodline. ISU has not lost four straight road games under Tim Jenkins in the two years that has been the ISU head coach, and they're hoping to get streak alive. They have lost their last three on the road. Northern Iowa comes in at 14 and six, overall an eight and one in the conference. They have a surprise team. They're coached by Jacobson, who's 50 and 33, third season Panthers. What are the keys to tonight's game, Bob? Well, I think it's three simple. Actually, Illinois has to balance out the ball. They've got to be able to rebound 
that prevent second points from the Panthers because they shoot the ball well. If you give second opportunity, they'll, they'll just flat out throw you with it. The Redbirds also have to minimize the turnovers. They got to give you each possession and make sure that they keep the Panthers from getting any runouts with easy baskets from turnovers. And they have to be sure they're not terrible. Don't put the Panthers on the free throw line. Shoot their free throws at an awesome pace. The Redbirds in their road red with white trim, black and red lettering along the pants. Northern Iowa in their home whites with purple and gold trim, and we're underway here at Cedar Falls. Dima Odiakos, first shot is missed, and it's cleared by O'Rear. Brad Gaston, John Moore, Thibodeau, the officials of tonight's Missouri Valley Conference game. Here's Moran. He's three points. His ball almost went in. It came out. It's an offensive rebound by Cook. Johnny Moran, the freshman from Algonquin. That's the point I was making in my keys game. You have to prevent that very thing from happening. You can't let them get second chance because because of the offensive rebound, Adam Cook, they now have free throws by Adam Cook, who's shooting at an 81% foul line for the season. And you now drew a foul against Dima Odiacosa. So it's a double-edged sword that goes against the birds on that. Well, what can you say about the play of Adam Cook in the month of January? Northern Iowa Panthers. Two times in the last two weeks, he's been the Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Week. As we to the top of the broadcast, coming off 30-point performance against Missouri State on the road. He knocked down 18 of 20 free throws in spring. 18 of 20, 18 is one off the school record, and he just knocked it here there to give his team a 2-0 advantage. And that's on the road. That's a, right. that's a performance on the road, Kirk. That, that's incredible. Incredible uh, performance that, that he gave that night. I mean, he, he's, if there's anybody harder than him in the Valley right now, I wouldn't know who it would be. Yeah, some teams don't get 18 points on the road, let us a road player. Exactly. The Redbirds go down low. Nice pass from down to Dima Otakosa, and we're even at Without Eagle Cedar in the game, I think the Redbirds have an advantage on the inside, and I think twice you've seen them look at, at inside to Dima Otakosa and looking to take advantage of that mismatch there. I think Cook can handle him from a defensive perspective. Heligba, his first shot is a fit. That's good. Wow, he shot that floating sideways. Good. Joe Heligba has been terrific. He missed all of last season with an injury. He is the spark plus, kind of the engine that makes the pitcher's tank run. How about Holloway, the ups of glass? Nobody came close to checking him out, and he was doing the right thing, placing the boards. Great place, right time. Good put back for the Redbirds. Now he works on Picosa. Here's Cook with a good on him. Penitence ball is stripped on the floor. Still down. Somehow Chris Eldridge comes away with it. Now it's Champucci. Redbirds pushing the ball to the floor in transition now. He's Phillips in the front court. Now Aguchi pumps. He's working on a helicopter. He spins. He zips it down to Dima, who's fouled, and Odiacosa to the free throw line. Great penetration. Champaguchi on the baseline that time to draw. Dima Odiakosa's defense over to him and then kicked down so that Dima could go strong to the board and draw the foul. We were amazed last year's progress that Dima Odiakosa made from the start of the season, finish of the season. The Illinois State coaching staff continues to say that his improvement is just marketably better each game. He's just getting better with every game that he plays. For a young man who's only been playing nice basketball for six Six seasons, that's amazing. It, it truly is. It, it really is where he's coming. And, and the area that he has to continue in is at the free throw line. We see two misses right there by him. That is the one area, for whatever the reason, it's been slow and happening for him. Everything else, they, the staff couldn't be more pissed about. Nice pass down to Rear, who hit with the left hand. Just a nice little continuity flow to their offense. They do a lot of perimeter screens, weave out front, try to defend defenders, get them in an awkward situation, and then take advantage of going to the hoop. Johnny Moran, certainly one of the better freshmen in the league this year. Lloyd Phillips missed the shot. An offensive glass work again from Holloway. Until Holloway has crashed the pass on two separate offensive sets, and he's come away with a couple seconds. Well, just playing hard and aggressive. You know, that's a smart way to... You know, you rather early embarrass yourself with play hard. Baroque is three, and he has been stroking it from three-point land 
39% on the season. When you take into consideration what he's done since the early season has started, he's shooting it better than 47% from the three-point arch since the Valley season has begun. Well, their entire team has been a whole different cast of characters since the Valley has started. Their, their performance league has just been second to none. They're phenomenal. Here's Gucci driving in, and the Redbirds are getting their points in the tonight, Bob. Well, if they keep attacking, I think, and I believe, Bell, they feel they can take advantage of athleticism. For open this pass, the rebound is tapped out by Cook. For Oak Minish again, slipped it up, couldn't get it, clipped to Gucci. Poked from behind and stopped by Furkish. Well, if you don't protect the ball and be strong with the ball, things like that happen. Brought the reach down. Ali for Oak Minish. He's the transfer student. He played at a couple of senior colleges before coming here to North Iowa. Got that time is made by Phillips. Here's Holloway, four early picks for the Redbirds, for the senior. I think for the Redbirds, early stages of the game are important. I think they need to prove to themselves that on the road, they can be strong, they can be smart, and they can be effective and not let it get a run on them. Eldridge nearly left it, now Phillips is left open, three is good. Oh, he felt it. That's a great read by Osiris Eldridge to find wide open. And he knocks her down. Boy, that's that's, that's great. Nation, the clock runs down. Everybody's aware of what's going on. I'm going to see the mass substitutions at the next whistle. So there are seven players checking. Here's O'Rear. He's fine. He's going to get free. Balls. And we've got our first timeout. Good to the game. Teams and offensive flows. Redbirds 11, Panthers 9. Back with more from the Cloud Center in just a minute. January's definite Red Rock Rock and Bloomington are going 2009 at Honda in your ride. Honda, fuel efficient, low cost and fun to drive. Honda wins the 2009 Best Resale Value Award from Kelly Blue Boat. Civic Civic Titan, a new fit, safety and economy. Pilot, not a suit, passenger comfort, best travel vehicle to wear. Ford, the standard in family cars, first town and country. All with the fleet. So, what's in your garage? January's definite Red Rock Honda in Bloomington. Fantastic cars! Redbirds and they face Indian State February 7th at 1 p.m. at Redbird Arena. Products don't know how to find customers, but Comcast Spotlight does for the mix of on air, online, and on-demand advertising and reach your customers wherever they are. Seven nine Illinois State lead over Northern Iowa. Tampa Gooch driving and scoring. All one basket for the Redskins come in the paint. You got a three-point shot from Lloyd Phillips, and everyone else is dead inside. Well, and I think that's something that has been has been stressed and addressed as we can practice. Except is wanting the best to start the game out attacking the basket. Take to them. They believe, they being the staff of Illinois State, believe they're a little bit more athletic. If they attack the basket, they can get some mismatches off quickness. Tampa Gucci, Osiris Eldridge, and Dima Odiacosa, three starters for the Redbirds, come on the bench. Kel Thornton, Seattle Zick, and Brandon Sampay have checked in for Illinois State. Meanwhile, Joe Egglesider, the seven is at the scorer's table. He will likely check in here for the rear of O'Rear with the free throw, which he did not. The Panther also had some substitutions in. We're seeing Kerwin Dunham in the game for the first time. And we're also seeing Adam Odenberg. He's the transfer from UC Irvine in the game for Ben Jacobson's Panthers. 11-10, the Olympic advantage. We're seeing a change in defense here by Northern Iowa. They're in a man-up zone. They had been in the man prior to that. Here's Phillips trying to create. Five on the shot clock. Gets a step from Thornton. Lob Thornton now. Down low. A little hook shot is in. A jump hook. One hander time by Kel Thornton. That right there was a particular set. We saw the Redbirds practice a shooter on this afternoon, Kurt. 
where they get that little baseline floater for the post players. Now, Kellen Thornton has just one point in his last four games, so he's already <laughs> that with his first shot tonight. The outside, another three goes down, this time off the bench, Travis Brown. He's the lone senior on the Northern Iowa roster. Boy, does that talk well up there. Future here at UNI. The Panthers, as you say, have one low senior. And with the team that's leading the conference right now with an 8-1 and one record, that is, I mean, beware Missouri Valley Conference for the next couple of years. Brown knocks down the three, and so we're tied now at 13. Seeing a little bit of full court pressure here from the Panthers. They'll do that just to control tempo. That's that's their intent there. It's not necessarily to create turnovers. I want you to have to eat the shot clock up before you can get get into your set. When they pull court pressure, it's typically going to be a zone, and they fall back into a zone after that then. Here's Holloway. Outside jumper's no good. Ball's on the floor. Thornton had it off his foot and out of bounds. Now we'll see the big fella, Gino Eagle Cedar, check for the Panthers. And we're seeing Cyrus Eldridge re-enter the game. Illinois Bay, he replaces a man Holloway. Alex Rubin's gonna come in for the Redbirds to spell Lloyd Phillips. So the Redbirds send out Rubin, Thornton, Sam Penny, Odzik, and Eldridge. On the floor for the Redbirds. Substitute off to early game tonight. Both squads are, do you think, believe it's gonna be a fast-paced game? I believe so. And the ball was on the floor. Adam Rodenberg put it down, it was stripped, and the Spurts came away with it, then called timeout. I believe, I had a poor, so I couldn't get around the official to see, but I think that was Osiris Eldridge that got down there. He dug down from his wing position defense and helped out, got a hand on the ball, knocked it free, and then created the jump ball and took a timeout, excuse me, not the ball, created possession for the Redbirds and then took a timeout with it. I always tell those post players, don't put the ball to the floor if you don't have to because you're taking away the size that you had because the guy's closer to the floor. are going to steal that ball when you put it down. That's exactly what Odenberg did. Well, that's excellent defense. Helps defense right there from Osiris Eldridge. He's not only guarding just this man, but he's helping on somebody else's that created the turnover that the, the uh, Redbirds took advantage of in that possession. All right, let's reset it for him. Ali Fulman. Right along with Travis Brown for Northern Iowa. Again, Bill Cedar is in the game. Kerwin Dunham is the game. And we mentioned Adam Rodenberg for the Panthers. Alex Rubin, Osiris Eldridge, Siad Odzik, Kellen Thornton, Brandon Sampaio are on the floor for the Redbirds. Played seven minutes, and we're all even 13-13. The first place Panthers, the second place Redbirds. Big game in the, in the Valley. This, this right here, there's a lot of people watching the scoreboard tonight as this takes place. Well, the commission of the league, Doug Elgin, is in the house, and typically that tells you that it's a pretty big game. There's Eggleseeder, the first seven-footer ever to play at Northern Iowa. And he is a large, he is a large person. Seven-foot one, 208 pounds. Back to play. Travis Brown lost the ball on the floor again. Redbirds got their hands on it quickly, oh. and it's out of bounds. To the, the birds get it. Yes, they do. Holy smokes! There were red jerseys flying all over the floor once that thing got loose. The birds have not at the level of energy and intensity tonight that he's been kind of lacking in the tackles. Here's Eldridge. He penetrates, stops, and now Ruben. Ruben left on his three is good. That's a big shot for the Redbirds when Alex Rubin can start contributing from the outside. Well, the bench just erupted. He hit that. I think they've all been waiting for him to kind of come out of his mini slump. And, and with that confidence, just serves not only for him, but for everybody else, knowing that he's maybe back on track or getting closer to, with each patch he's made. Eggles gives Thornton rebound. Yeah, for Rubin, just his third three points of the season. He hasn't even played in the last two games. For him to come in and in his first minute on the floor, a three-point is significant. Well, he's had a variety of problems throughout the season, staying healthy. Of course, we all know the broken foot that he went through and missed several games. And he, he had a really ugly bout with the flu for just a couple of games also. Good defense by the Panthers. The ball's out of bounds. And we've got a on the floor. 11.07 opening half. Illinois State 16, Northern Iowa 13. Back with more from the Falls in just a minute. Whether you're hosting a party or sitting down to enjoy the game, don't tip the beer nuts. Since cashews or almonds are available in different tastes, sure to please everyone. 
We offer a large selection of unique packs and specialty items for every occasion and price range. Shop in person, by phone, by fax, by mail. You can even shop on our website at beernuts.com. Shop in either of our two locations. Outer of Walker, Robinson Streets in Bloomington, or Sale Barn on Route 51 South. Since 1967, quality truck equipment is the normal only truck equipment fitter. Quality Truck is the highest quality truck body available, from dump trucks to service vehicles and everything in between. Let Quality Truck Equipment's professionals design and install a truck body tailored to your needs. Not only will we save you money up front, our higher quality bus will far outlast cook counter bodies found on car lines. Quality Truck Equipment, conveniently located at 1201 Bell Street in Bloomington. These are unique money times. Low fixed rate, taxes, risk, all make people uneasy. Traditional methods of being an investor haven't worked as recently. What should you do with 401ks and your IRAs? There are investment alternatives that give you principal, give you the upside put on the market, and shelter everything from current taxes. If safe and growth are important to you, call us to find out about these alternatives. For 29 years at the Kago Financial Center, we've been providing safe and sound financial guidance. Let's try and make sure your money's safe. three-point advantage over Northern Iowa. Alex Rubin, the sophomore from Minnesota with his first points in three weeks. He knocks the three here off the bench for the birds. Great movement that uh, the Redbirds find Alex in a crease zone that he was literally wide open, uncontested look and oh, it is such a confidence builder when you knock down early in the game. Champa Gucci and Dima Chikosa have now entered for the Redbirds sending Thornton and Sam Pei back to the bench. Switch in defenses by the Panthers. They get out of that zone and go make it. Cyrus Eldridge has his first two shots from the floor. Here's Johnny Moran again. Panthers have their, the bulk of their starting five back on the floor now. Here's Cook with a Gucci hand. That's going to be a terrific matchup in the course of the evening. He took Osiris Eldridge to the baseline, but Eldridge closed on him and knocked the ball out of hands and out of bounds. Coaching staff from Illinois State wondering why somebody wasn't over there to take a charge. Help side should have rotated and had somebody in position. It didn't happen though. It's Cook. He's going to try the outside jumper. Miss rebound. Odds it. Rubin gets a screen from Odiakosa. That jumper won't go. The Helligbutt back on the defensive end for the Panthers. That's a good look for Alex. I'm being aggressive and wanting the ball. Near steal by Osiris Eldridge, and Dima Odia comes up with it, and it's going to be a foul against Lucas O'Rear. I tell you what, the ball was knocked loose, and it was anybody's ball that wanted it. And again, I got blocked out by my view, and I don't know which Redbird kept kept it alive near midcourt. That was Eldridge. Was it? Was yep. it Osiris? What a great play! Because there we on the replay there, we, and that allows. Dima then to clean up from behind on the foul. Redbirds have really stepped in the passing lanes here in opening 10 minutes of this basketball game. They have active hands defensively, no doubt about it. Ruben out, Odzik out, Emmanuel Holloway has come in, and Lloyd Phillips has as well. So the Redbirds have their starting five on the floor right now. Dima's missed up for his free throws tonight. So Heller but draw some contact on Elder. Here's Cook. Gives it up to Rear. He's got a Viodia Cosa. Now it's Moran, the freshman from suburban Chicago. The Heller Oh, Rear trying to go down low to Cook. Now they get it in on the entry pass. In the shoot, backs down on Oguchi. Flipped it up, missed the shot, tipped up and in by O'Rear. Cook's mere presence at the block attracted two deep, which left a wide open O'Rear on the weak side board. In the opening 11 minutes of this, they've been better offensively without Jordan and on the floor. Oh, I think, they, I think they're more athletic and against the Redbirds, that's... Um, that's a problem that they're going to have. Three is that time on the outside from Dunn. He was down in the corner. He missed the shot. Let's come back in transition now.
Eldridge. Cody Acosa is going to take his from back down. Score. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Rear tried to draw contact there. It looked like a little bit of a flop, but uh, the well, officials weren't biting that one. He made it a little too obvious that that wasn't even remotely a charge. And flopped, as you said, and Dima just took advantage said, thank you. We're going to lay this lower ass down pretty easy, too. Now Cook again. His jumper is missed. Smallest guy in the floor. Lloyd Phillips back on the defensive end. Holloway, short pull-up jumper. He's at six points in the first half. I think that's Emmanuel Holloway's confidence builder. He is a, a very good medium-range jump shot shooter, and when he takes that one to two dribbles off a screen and hits that 10, 12, 14 footer, I think he gains confidence as the game goes on there. Bird lead is at 20, 15. Johnny Moran shoots no good. Yacosa, now it's one on the Redbirds doing a much better job on the defensive backboard. That's exactly right, Kurt, and that's, that's a real key, I believe, to the game fight. Is you, if, if the Redbirds can keep the Panthers to one and done, there's great shooters to get as many opportunities in. Lost the dribble. Now it's Osiris Edwards still looking for his first points of the night. Gets a screen from Odia Kosa. Now to the foul. Snaps a pass out to Phillips, and we're going to have a foul. It's going to go against Illinois State. I believe the, the charge on Osiris, maybe? That's it. Offensive foul against Eldridge, who's still looking for his first points. And we've got an official's timeout. 7 19 to go. Half. Illinois State 20, Northern Iowa 15. Back with more from Cedar Falls, Iowa in just a minute. Cut utility bills to 50% with a kit of geothermal comfort system from Pro Air Heat Cooling and Electrical. Phone 452 3415. Carrier, turn to the experts. I'm Rick Klein. Call me for your insurance and financial needs at 452 9648. I came right the day after Thanksgiving and um, was here for three months. and time to go home and I just want to go home. Independent living, Skyline Apartments, Lifestyle Design. Call today at 584-6131. For good food, great people, and fun times, take a step off the beaten path and into times past. Order something from the extensive menu, try the daily special, or check out what's at the buffet. For lighter fare, visit the salad bar. Times past has a full bar too. Dine in, carry out, or call art for all your catering needs. There's always a big face and plenty to do at Times Past in Tawanda Plaza in Bloomington. Open seven days a week. Times Past in. Good food at the right price. Can you believe this? I'm the old photo he has of his great grandfather. And he stores me with this. He, humidity, mold, milk, and bugs. Do you know what they do to a valued family heirloom like me? Uncle Bill's Climate Controlled Storage provides the perfect environment for your valuables. Their just controlled rooms keep humidity down and help prevent mold, rust, and paper rot. Uncle Bill's Climate Controlled Storage. Four, five, one, four, five, hundred. Redbirds with a five hit lead at the place Northern Iowa. The leading scorer in the game so far, Emmanuel Holloway. He's hit three jump shots here, six points for Holloway. He's done a good job on the offensive, and then he knocks down about a 50-footer, Bob. A couple of good things happened on that. It was set right there. Andrew Holloway obviously came off the screen very well. He got to an open position, and then he didn't penetrate too far. The defense could close out and, and, and keep from getting that scoring opportunity. The other thing that happened well was the fact that Dima has so many little things. Setting a screen to be as effective as that, get a man that wide open, is really important when you perimeter shoot as the Reds do. Good job both ways right there. Well, Exeter is back in the game for Northern Iowa, and Rear is out. Here's Cook. He drives and draws contact. The foul's going to go against Gucci. That's the one right there that Adam Cook is probably as good as anybody in the Valley at doing, is getting the ball, going to the hoop, and having contact. So he goes to that foul, and as he stated, he shot 20 free throws by himself last Saturday at Missouri State. Odzik with the oh my. jersey of Kijo, a helic buzz, so the foul will go against Odzik. I, I mean, they were, it was right they were in the desperate, <laughs> desperate mode because the five-second count nearing, and they kind of got a bailout here by the Redbirds. That's the 15 foul against the Redbirds. That's seven minutes to go in the opening half. Here's Egglesieder. Fixed in on Sam Pay, missed shot. Away, it on the floor. He's going to be called for a travel. Redbirds were in great position on the defensive end. 
too, between Sam Pay and Holloway, someone was going to come away with it. Unfortunately, Holloway was losing his footing. you got to try to be so strong. Sometimes you, it, it's difficult to have finesse in the process also. Northern Iowa Panthers on an eight-game winning streak. The last time they won nine games was the 1863-64 season when they were Division II team. That's what we called the State College of Iowa. They were coached by Norm Stewart. Norm Stewart. The one and only. Boy, they, you know, for a school that isn't necessarily known straight basketball tradition, they've had a run of basketball coaches here that have, you know, it's really impressive. Redbirds also for another foul. There's six on the team now. Off the inbounds and scoring is Karopmanish. Again, he's the three-point shooter, but he catch a shooter from inside and score. Karopmanish with five. Here's Sam Pay. He can do against the seven. And he scores on Eagleseeder. This is going to be a, a, a game. Eagleseeder's size is a factor, but I think if you attack him, as the birds are doing, you can take advantage of his lack of quickness and speed. Cook down low. Eggleseeder kicks for Oak Minish's three. Oh, he's, he's a shooter. How quick is that release? That's his second three-point kick of the game. He leads the Valley with three three-pointers a game on the average, and now a steal for the Panthers. Now it's for Oak Minish front court. He's gonna fire up another three. He got that one. That was defended. He's dropping back to laughing. He's got this count in a frenzy. Ali Farokmanish, the player in double figures. He has a left, and the Panthers have the lead. That's why they are never out of the game, and they believe in themselves. Phillips tries to answer. Does Lloyd Phillips with his second three of the game. Wow, did that silence the crowd. And the it was huge. The birds need that because this crowd had awakened. Good players like playing in an environment such as this, though, too, because they respond to situations of adversity. Oh, yeah, I think players would much rather play in front of a crowd that's active and screaming than playing a half-empty gym, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Under five minutes to go here in this opening half. Baruch Mish lost it. Now it's Haligba. Haligba. He's guarded by Cyrus Elvis. Four on the shot clock. Hang on O. Fadeaway jumper. That's missed. Long rebound to Phillips. Defense by the Redbirds on that. Yes, it was. That was excellent. Here's a he goes right around, missed the shot, offensive rebound by Chipe, and he's fouled. Boy, there again, Birds are attacking the rim. They didn't get the benefit of the of the basket, but they did get the offensive board and drew the foul. Travis Brown is coming in. So is Kerwin Dunn for the Panthers. Telling butt of the bench. Just constant, the bench out. constant substitutions out of Northern Iowa's bench. I mean, you play eight, nine, ten people constantly. Every game, you look at their stat sheet, you see it. There's Sam Pay, a little screen and roll. Slip the screen, help side didn't rotate, he finished with a flush. Four points for Sam Pay. Moran, stutter step, worked on, right on Sam Pay, and then flipped it up and in. Way too quick. Wing people keep their man to help. They're setting a shooter then. Phillips, another three is missed. Long rebound, two pounds, still loose. O'Rear comes up with it. Flips to Moran. Up is cut down. He had the ball stripped out of his hands. Here comes Eldridge now. Look out. His kick goes to Manuel Holloway. Three is good. Swing on the left. The bench for ISU is ecstatic. I mean, the players are just going crazy. They are fired up for this game, Kurt. Well, Ben Jacobson is fired up, too. The North Iowa, you get a good look at it. He is hot under the collar. He wants to know why Adam Pick is not shooting free throws. It's a 30 timeout that the Panthers call. Well, and it was called for one reason only, to stop a record run and, and to get his point across. Now we show Cyrus Eldridge coming on the replay here as he's attacking basket to draw four defenders and a scout to Emmanuel Holloway who's wide open and he drains it. What an opening half for Emmanuel Holloway, Bob. Four out of six from the field. He's gotten in close to lead the and As we see this again, Kurt, the last time Cyrus Eldridge went in paint and kicked the foul, they called him to charge because he left his feet to make the pass. This time, he's under control and he kicks out. 
no foul, and we knock it down. I, I, that's great discipline by Osiris right there. He played better than 16 minutes in this basketball game. We have no field goals from Cyrus Eldridge. We have no field goals from Adam Cook. The two guys that we talked about, and only one field goal from Chiapaguchi, so the scoring is coming from other sources. For the Redbirds, it's coming from Emmanuel Holloway. Ali Farokic is doing the damage to Panthers, although it's so rear playing. Oh, yes, that was an intelligent basketball move right there. He got two defenders and reversed using glass when he did. Three-point Redbird lead at the three-minute mark. Left here in this first very entertaining opening half here at the McLeod Center. Sampe again rolls it in. Brandon Sampe, terrific lift off the Redbird pitch. Great body control as he went through the middle of the lane that time with that little, little one-handed runner. He's got six points. He's hit all three of his shots from the field. The Redbirds come away with the field. Like active hands. Elk on the baseline. He's off by Brown. Now it's Phillips. Looking down low on Sam Pei, who's working on Cook. Panthers have stayed in a man-to-man -man defense. They, I think they, that zone gives way too many good looks at Redbird outside shooters. Champa Gucci, pick nine on the clock. He'll fire it this time. Can't get it. Good box out time by Tim Moran. He came away with a defensive rebound. The thing I'm appreciating in the game up to this point is there's, there's a lot of basketball intelligence being displayed both ways. Yeah. I like the games like this. This is Trash Brown. Now he gives it up to Cook. He's the reigning Three Valley Conference player of the week. Puts it on the floor. Ball was knocked over. Redbirds again, very active defensively against here tonight. That's been a, a real point of, of emphasis by the coaching staff. Man hits a fadeaway with wow. three seconds to go on the shot clock. I think that was, with, without disrespect being, that was off by accident. He looked up and noticed it's three in the clock and said, he smokes and he fade away from deep. And he's just a, and he plays a lot of mocks out on the floor. He plays like he's about a, a three year start. Yeah, he does, there's no question. We've got a timeout on the floor. The Redbridge will let the basketball when we come back. A minute 25 to go in the opening half. Illinois State 32. Northern Iowa 29. Back with more in a minute here on Newcast. For the royal treatment you deserve, Empire Spa, a true day spa. Be proactive with your health and wellness. Make your reservation to be our guest for a single treatment or enjoy a full day of services. You don't have to travel to experience true day spa. Let us be destination. Try our spa spectacular with a tropical body wrap. This will repair, smooth, and rejuvenate your skin. Empire Spa for the royal treatment you deserve. 1234 Empire in Bloomington, 820-1600. B&D Insurance has been a resource for insurance services in Central Illinois since 1946. If you need help with workers' compensation coverage, consult agent Jane Moore. If you are interested in a fully insured policy, a self-funded plan, or need to implement a return-to-work program, contact Jane Moore. We represent National Workers' Compensation Corps. Visit our website at VanGundy.com or stop by the office in Normal. Insure with confidence. Van Gundy Agency. For a definite Red Barker Honda in Bloomington, our goal 2009, a Barker car in your garage. We have the nicest used cars, vans, and sport utilities. Just Honda's better makes and models. Buy and use, you can save thousands. Our inspections and car packages make it easier to buy with confidence. Certified used car with a 100,000 mile warranty. So, what's in your garage? Can you already have it? Red Barker Honda in Bloomington. Fun catching cars! Fun catching cars! cars. and ISU has 11 points off the bench here in the opening half. And Brandon Sampe has contributed six of those 11. Well, and as we see on the replay right there is one of the reasons. You see him take, take he's been across the middle, slow and deliberate, puts it up with confidence. Now, the reason that's able to happen, that Brandon can isolate like that, is because the great scene that the Redbirds had on that, or excuse me, on that offensive sequence. Nobody can show help side defense. They can't dig down and in, in, involve because they're off the distance. Their man has to honor them and not the, not the man with the ball. So Brandon took advantage. Alex Rubin is back in the game. He's giving Emmanuel Holloway a break. Here's Sam Pei spinning and shooting in his first miss of the night. I think he got hurt. I think he got hurt. He's down and grimacing. Well, he's back up. He's running it up. Yeah, looks like it. He'll stay in the game. He's right to the bench, it looks like. He yeah. went right to 
the end of the bench. I think he tweaked an ankle when he came down, and, and when you do that, you get a little nervous that it's worse than what maybe it is and until everything settles in and you realize that, okay, all right, shake one's not too bad, I'm all right. Sante is out, Cody Acosa is in now for the first. Under the go in this very entertaining opening half with Illinois State leading by three. Here's O'Rear. Now Brown, his three to tie is good. Boy, they just got so many weapons. They're just, I mean, they're, any one of the five can hurt you in some shape or form. 16th three-point make of the season for Travis Brown, a 41% shooter from three-point arch. There's a one-second difference between the game clock and shot clock. Now it's Eldridge over Brown, missed the shot. Odia Kosa had it momentarily, but the Panthers come back and the shot clock is off. The Panthers will have the final look at the basket here at the opening half. Well, this is a big motion possession right here for the first half. Four shoot. Two to shoot. He's, he's not going. Yeah, he is going. Helwig Boss, three is no good, and we're even. 20 minutes of play. Illinois 32 and Northern Iowa 32. What a first half. Well, first and second place teams in the Valley are going out one another head to head. You can't expect this kind of this type of play, but you really get it. You've been not only an evenly played game, a well played game by the squad card. Time at the McClock Center in Cedar Falls. First place Northern Iowa 32. Second place Illinois State 32. A conversation with Ed Leach, the senior associate athletics director for external affairs at Illinois State is up next. With more, we'll be back in a minute to Comcast. Looking for a way to get in shape without breaking the bank? Try Illinois State University Recreation Services. Whether you're a student or community member, we offer a variety of membership options and programs to fit your wallet and your lifestyle. Personal training, group fitness, racquetball, basketball courts and track, plus much more. Fit is something new and get active for less with Illinois State University Recreation Services. For more information, call 438-PLAY. Visit our website or see us at the corner of Pillo in North. Products don't know how to find customers, but Comcast Spotlight does. With a mix of on-air, online, and on-demand advertising, you can reach your customers wherever they are. Dance, walk, move, even the smallest step count. Celebrate the day dance for health. February 28th from 8 a.m. to noon at the Heartland Community College Workforce Development Center. Admission is free with a donation of non-perishable food items or a cash donation to the Midwest Food Bank. Give dance by Broman Hacker and Heartland Community College. For more information, please visit our website or call 1-877-270-4968. Time at the McLeod Center in Cedar Falls, Iowa. North Iowa 32, Illinois State 32. Joined courtside here by Aaron Leach, who's the Senior Associate Athletics Director for External Affairs at Illinois State University. Busy week behind us, busy weeks ahead of us. Let's talk about a few things that have either been on your uh, menu, so to speak, or that are going ahead. Saturday, neat day, a game against Southern Illinois, Will Robinson tribute, and tribute that weren't there and maybe missed the news. There's going to be a statue of Will Robinson outside Red Arena sometime, probably by the middle summer. Tell us again about that. Well, it's one of those type items that uh, we really felt was very important, and obviously with Will passing about a year ago now, uh, we felt it was uh, very necessary to pay tribute to him and what he meant to Illinois State University. And not only with that, but also to uh, honor Will uh, or Doug Collins as well. Uh, and there's no greater honor in athletics than to have a statue erected of you and pay uh, tribute to individuals such as Will and Doug in that way. And, and uh, that um, uh, became a reality because of the idea that Todd Cober had. And from there, we then ran with it. And uh, with the generosity of the Frankie family, Don and Belinda, Matt and Ellen Grant, which, uh, were extremely, extremely generous to us in uh, making that statue become a reality. 
That's one tribute in the books. Another one coming up very soon. One of the best women's basketball players to ever play in the state. Charlotte Lewis, a former youth Olympian, is going to be honored. Comes here soon, too. Olympian, American. There's not much else you can say about uh, Charlotte Lewis. Is a great, great example of women's basketball program, what that means. And we are going to pay tribute to her, much in the same way we did with Will on February 7th at 1 o'clock, the uh, women's game versus Indiana State that day. Uh, it's back the arena. It's ESPN game. Uh, it, it is a great opportunity for our fans to come out and see our great women's basketball program. Saturday is the big game against uh, Bradley, Bradley ISU hosting the Braves at Redbird Arena. It's a tough uh, game, but fans can get there much earlier than that because you've got the taste again to end up, don't you? 12.30. 12.30 in Horton's House is a great event. This year we've got 14 vendors in. Uh, fans can come to Field House, get in for free, buy tickets, and enjoy all the great food from the vendors across the community. It is really it's a great event. Last year, I we had about uh, 3,500. This year, I'd expect over 4,000. And I guess it's never too early to start talking about the Missouri Valley Cup Tournament. I mean, we're almost in February, coming up in March, and I know tickets are starting to be sold now. Is that correct? Yes, and we've, uh, for both tournaments, we've seen more tickets, session packs this year uh, than, than ever in IS history. And to my knowledge, uh, for the men's tournament, we sold 1,000. For the women's tournament, we pre-sold 400. Mm. Um, that uh, the men's tournament is March 5th through 8th in St. Louis, the men's team hotel for Millennium. Uh, if you want more information on tickets, you can go to GoRedbirds.com. The women's uh, tournament is in St. Charles again, in the arena there. Uh, again, tickets and hotel information are available on GoRedbirds.com. Thanks for the visit, Aaron. Thanks, Drew. All right, Aaron. Halftime, 32-32, Northern Iowa and Illinois State back with more from Cedar Falls in just a minute. Wait, turn that trash into cash. Recycling aluminum cans is good for the environment. A great way to earn some extra money. The most tick recycling is Central Illinois' place to recycle aluminum cans as well as other metals, including handcrafts, copper, aluminum, stainless. Whether you want to make money for your organization, church, or school, or need some extra cash to feed the gas pump, recycling is the way to go green. Wednesdays, seniors 55 and older, five cents over the base price for aluminum cans. The Morris Tick Company, recycling since 1888. Call 309-828-6084 for more information. Welcome to CB Hair Time, a salon for every age and every hairstyle, and we're affordable for every income. CB Hair Design is all about doing good hair. Our experienced professionals do it all, from local treatments including perks and highlights to great cuts. CB Hair Design is a big salon with intimate feel. Open six days a week from 9 a.m. till the last style is done. CB Hair Design, 209 South Prospect in Bloomington. Call 663-5441 for an appointment today. Stoner's is what comes to mind when you say neighborhood bar and grill. Independently operated, Scott's opened its doors in 1988. Schooners is a neighborhood tradition, serving delicious foods like beer battered chicken, buffalo wings, the Schooner Burger, fresh garden salads and homemade soups, the famous King Tenderloin, and try our new mini tenderloin platter. Schooners offers blue specials every weekday from 11 to 2 featuring homemade items. Come on in, let's get something fresh for you today. Taste the local flavored Schooners, 829-6841. State 32, Northern Iowa 32. We are at halftime here from McLeod Center, Cedar Falls, Iowa. Battle between two of the top teams in the Missouri Valley Conference, the conference leading Northern Iowa Panthers, and one, and trying to improve the 9 1 season. They've got a two game lead over Illinois State and Bradley. Edwards with a victory tonight can close to within one full game of Panthers uh, with uh, the rematch at uh, Redbird Arena yet to come. Uh, the first statistics, again, pretty well dead even when you take a look at uh, both teams with 32 points in the shooting percentages. The Redbirds with a 50% shooting half at 14 out of 28 and a first half of 44% shooting for uh, the Southern Iowa Panthers. And Bob, when you take a look at the first half stat sheet, I know we talked a little bit about the rebounding. Both teams are even at 60%. We talked about get to the free throw more often. Both teams have shot four foul shots. It's an even uh, it's a game on the scoreboard. It's an even game on the stat sheet, too, so far, isn't it? Well, the one theme that you have continued to talk about throughout the game is how well the game is being played by both squads. They're both playing to their strengths. They're both playing with high level of intensity, high level of energy, and you're seeing some intelligent basketball. You know, I guess I keep saying that because so many times today we see ball games where players just rely on athleticism and skill only, and they forget how to play the game with, with basketball cards. You know, so I'm happy to see that. And I think it's a very good collegiate game because of that. You saw a basket there by Kellen Thornton. We mentioned that the Birds have 11 points off their bench in this opening half. 
The Redbirds have got terrific scoring from Brandon Sampe. He has six points. Thornton, Alex Rubin has made a three-point shot. The Redbirds right now led in scoring with a nine-point effort from Emmanuel Holloway. Osiris Eldridge held Silas in the opening half. And Champa Gucci held to just one field. So the two Redbird scores held to just two points. Now, if I'd have said before to flop at the time, Champ and Osiris are going to sign for two points. You're going to say, well, how many points are the Redbirds going? That's not the case here tonight. No, not at all. I think a, a, a big key for the Redbirds in the first half has been the contributions from the bench. Maybe not so much all the scoring, but yet you're saving legs. You're saving uh, energy for who need in the game second half and down the stretch. We're, you know, we have seen games where there hasn't been much contribution from the bench out of the Redbirds team, and yet tonight we're seeing major contributions. And, and hopefully this is something that we're going to continue. This is a pattern that's going to continue, and we'll keep the Redbirds tonight to a win. Ali Farokmanish, the junior college transfer, junior guard from the city leading the Panthers with 11 points. Hit the three-point threat, knocked down three of them. Had a little stretch there, about uh, five to go and a half, where he took the game over and brought the first back and tied the ball. The team actually gave them one point lead, only to see the Brits come back and even the score. That's where we're at. It's in the box. We're all in Northern Iowa with two and Illinois State 32. And we're back with more from the McLeod Center in Cedar Falls in just a minute. Whether you're hosting a party or sitting down to enjoy the game, don't forget the beer nuts. Peanuts, cashews, or almonds are available in different tastes, sure to please everyone. We offer a large selection of unique gift packs and specialty items for every occasion and price range. Shop in person, by phone, by fax, by mail. You can even shop on our website at beernuts.com. Shop in either of our two locations, the corner of Washington and Robinson Streets in Bloomington, or at the Sale Barn on 51 South. the ISU Redbirds as they back up Bradley Chiefs at Redbird Arena Saturday, January 31st at 3 p.m. Products don't know how to find customers, but Conference Spotlight does. With a mix of on-air, online, and on-demand advertising. You can reach your customers wherever they are. The highest team in the Missouri Valley Conference, the Iowa Panthers, first place in the league, have 32 points. The Illinois State Redbirds, looking for the first road win in their last four, have 32 points. Kurt Pagler, Bob Morris, back with you. 32-32 with 20 minutes of action in the books and 20 minutes, perhaps more, ahead of us. Last year's here, Cedar Falls was a team that went down to the wire. The Redbirds, half their team was in the sick bay, and the Redbirds fell short, but they're going to get a road win tonight. We get a chance to see Dima Oriacosa scoring inside. The Redbirds were very concerned and very dedicated to getting the ball in, the, in that first half. I've seen some of those those baskets inside. Well, they did, and, and they did it without creating any off fouls for the poachers. We got, uh, they were able to get Sam Paid and Odia Kosa through the first half with only one ball, and, and, and I think that's important as the birds continue on down the game, that now they can, you know, kind of relax and be more relentless at what they believe is a strength for them in this game as it continues on. As we mentioned, this game is a key game as the second half of the conference season starts. Every team has played nine teams, and in fact, with Creighton's victory over Indiana State last night, those two teams already played ten games. But most of the rest of the league playing their 10th game in the conference schedule either tonight or tomorrow. A couple of games uh, have been postponed by the weather uh, at a couple of sites in Missouri for the conference. So that's the reason why there's there's not a game tonight involving Southern Illinois. There's a game tonight involving Evansville because they're getting socked in the southern part of the state uh, and not being able to get those games in. But this is a great way to start the second half of the season. An Iowa victory tonight, Bob, can make it really difficult in the rest of the league. They could have a three-game lead by the weekend with just seven games remaining, so it becomes imperative for the Redbirds to stay within arm's reach of the Panthers, and a win tonight gets that job done. Well, it, it definitely does. A win tonight by the Redbirds, I think, sends a message that, that to the rest of the league, and probably more importantly to the Redbirds themselves, that they can go win on the road in a hostile environment against hot opponents, 
and those types of things. And, and, and it's a really big game for the Redbirds it, it, for, for those reasons. Well, Tim Jankovic has always said that he never wanted to put too much emphasis on one game. He's always said, you know, they give you one point for the win. They don't wait the games as far as that's concerned. But that's deep down, they know that so this is a real big Well, it's just, as we're watching some replays here, you, you, you see Kellen Thornton's advantage in that first replay. And here you see Osiris' hustle to get an opportunity for Dima Odiacosa to draw the foul out of great hustle right there. Just, you know, a tremendous effort. And, you know, another thing, talking about quality of the game and how well it was played in that first half, and, and it was a clean game from the turnover perspective. Northern Iowa had five turnovers in the first half. Elmore State only had four. I mean, that's two teams playing hard, going nose to nose and getting after it, and yet not being sloppy in the process. We have the college home of Kurt Warner, as you might imagine. Everybody around town is talking about the Arizona Cardinals quarterback who has his team in the Super Bowl come Sunday. In fact, they've got a promotion here. Any athletic event in Northern Iowa campus between now and the Super Bowl on Sunday, if you mention Kurt Warner's name, ticket booth, I'll give you a free ticket. There's a women's basketball game going on. There's a swim meet going on. There's gymnastics going on. You mentioned Kurt Warner, who used to play quarterback here for the Panthers of Northern Iowa. You mentioned his name, you're getting a free ticket. So they're going a little crazy. And the men's basketball is not too bad here this winter. Well, they've got a variety of reasons to be excited around here on this campus. There's no question about that. And, and tonight's game is a good, you know, good representation of that. What excitement is carrying out. It's, it's on the campus and the community. The game's getting score. I'll leave for Rokesh, Jr. from Northern Iowa. He has 11. Lucas O'Rear, the sophomore from Nashville, Illinois, has seven for the Panthers. Illinois State's leading scorer, Daniel Holloway, with nine. And then two players have six points, Lloyd Phillips and Brent Sampe. Osiris Eldridge held scoreless in the open half. And give credit to the Panthers. They've done that to a number of the stars in the Missouri Valley Conference. Point, Kurt. They, they held shy Eli, the leading scorer in the league of Evans, who's averaging seven points a game. They held him to seven. They held Josh Young of Drake. With about a 16 point per game guy to three points. They held Bradley Theron Wilson to zero points. So they've got the job done defensively, and certainly they have identified the fact that uh, they can keep Osiris Belgic off the uh, scorebook to get a better their chances of winning. Second half action away again. Northern Iowa starts with basketball. They're in their home whites with gold and purple trim. Illinois State in its red road uniforms with the white trim and black letters on the pants down the side. The missed shot is ripped down by Dima Odiakos. Well, a statement there by both squads. They came out and wanted to get right into their offense by going to Adam Cook, and the bird said, uh huh. And Champa Gucci hits the jumper. They're going to say it was a two. His foot was on the line, so a good start for the Redbirds as they uh -oh. come out. Uh -oh. Offensive possession and a steal and a layup. And there's the first points of the game for Osiris Eldridge. Once again, his effort and hustle on defense. He has taken a level of pride in his defensive rebounding this year that none of us have ever seen of Osiris before. And it, it's time to watch him mature. I agree. And, he, and he's a matchup problem defensively because he's so long. There's another three for Parokmanish. That young man is unconscious. And, he, and he's done it consistently. So I, I don't mean in any negative connotation. He has one of the quickest releases I think I've ever seen. Well, he has. 10 double-digit scoring games, make it 11 now in the season, and eight his last 11, he's scored in double figures. Here's Odiacosa, again out to Aguchi, left open. His three is missed the corner, and it's O'Rear, the defensive back. The Redbirds with a point lead. A heligba is fouled, reach-in is going to be on Phillips. Redbirds certainly don't have to keep an eye on Farrokhmanish and Johnny Moran. He's through the two three-point three. They were a very good three-point shooting team. They've got a lot of weapons out there, but Farrokhmanish tonight is really heating it up. He's got four three-point makes here. Well, that's what's been able to carry them, and that's why they're a good team, is because they've been able to get a variety of people to make contributions. You can't focus on one, maybe two players shut them down in the game, because they've got four or five others that come along and get active. Here's Cook penetrating, flipped it up, can't get it. Ball on the floor, and Eldridge comes away with it. Inside to Odiacosa, left all alone. Give Champa Gucci credit. Terrific pass. They ran for round one that time. The Redbirds did with four perimeters out in the three-point area and had Dima Odiacosa running the, the one in the paint. Odiacosa with six. Now the Redbird lead is three at 38-35. 
Moran, pull-up jumper. That is missed. Odiacosa on the defensive end. Boy, three or four times that the Panthers have missed shots. The Birds have been one and done and got the board. That foul's going to go against Johnny Moran now as he was a step quicker than his baseline. That's his second. And that's the first team foul here in the second half against the Panthers. That's simply attacking the rim. Both teams open the second half with the six five that they started the basket game with. Mismatch, mismatch. Gucci had a oh. shot blocked. Good defense by Cook stepped out and deflected a Gucci shot. Oh, now good. it's Farokmanish down on the baseline. Ripped it up and in. I, I don't think that was even a shot, Kurt. I think he was laying it up. <laughs> it looked like oh. his scent was to lock it up to an alley -oop for Cook, and it went in. Everything he's touching is going in the basket. Holy smoke, yeah. 16 points for Ali Farokmanish. Now Lloyd Phillips tries three. That's missed. Here's Johnny Moran spinning, and it's going to be picked from behind by Lloyd Phillips. Redbirds staying with the four round one approach on offense right now. The runners, they call their five game. Here's a Gucci. Lane works Cook and laid it in. If they can stop the defense like that, like you saw in that sequence, there's takes that are available or kicks inside that are available. And the Birds, Birds are having a really good game tonight. Helic butt down, he starts. And draws contest. Second basket of the game for Kajo Helic butt. Osiris just did a great job defensively on him. Yeah, he has. He'll have a free throw when we come back. Well, no, we're not stepping away. I thought, I thought we were stepping away, but we're not. Sorry to find you there, Bob. The better the free throw one. This game's too exciting, Kurt. Yeah. Let's not get away from it. Let's stick to it. To Joe Aheligba. That's easy for you to say, maybe. K-W-A-D-Z-O. First name. Last name. K-A-T-L-E-G-B-E. -E. Boy, Vanna wants you turning a lot of vowels and confidence. Oh, that, was, that was the clue on the Wheel of Fortune. That's what you have. The Red Bridge. Hanging on to a one-point lead. Opening four minutes here of this second half. Sampei into the Odiacosa. Flipped it back to Sampei. Short shot miss. Birds have gone with Sampei and Odiacosa now with the double post look. See if they get some mismatches. Cook, three, missed. Sampei rebound. Well, you know, in, in, as I say that, I look for a little closer and you got Cook and the Cedar out there. Yeah, he's coming to the game to replace the rear. Inside, Odia cuts a shot blocked by Eggleseeder. And out of bounds. Red basketball when we come back. 15 to go, second half. Redbirds have a one-point lead at 40-39. Back with more from Cedar Falls in just a minute. If you're craving comfort food, you ought to head over to Shannon's. Serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Shannon's has a variety of daily specials starting at just $5.95. And signature sandwiches like the buffalo chicken, the tenderloin, and the horseshoe. Shannon's home can is sure to please everyone with everyday home cooked meals at pleasing places. Shannon's, located at the corner of Veterans Parkway and Mercer Avenue. Come on over to Shannon's, where food, family, and friends come together. Honey, where can we get a great deal on a new car? Also, get dependable service. I can help you there. Just follow my direction to Peterson Motors in Fairbury. They have a great selection of new and used cars, trucks, and vans, plus an award winning service department. That's right. At Peterson Motors, we have a family tradition of taking care of our customers. Check out our inventory online or come to us today. Roads lead to Peterson Motors, a fruit west for in Fairbury. Peterson Motors, your dealer who cares. Van Gundy Insurance has been a resource for insurance services in central Illinois since 1946. Professional liability coverage is an important component of your insurance program. If you operate a preschool or child care facility, contact agent John Lenahan to see if your coverage is adequate. Contact John Lenahan before you have a claim. Visit our website at gundy.com or stop by our office in Normal. Insure with confidence at Van Gundy Agency. One point 
Illinois State lead 40-39 over Northern Iowa with the first basket of the game. So Cyrus Eldridge comes in for a steal on the beat to then. Missed user by Cook trying to inbound the ball to Kajel. And Osiris takes advantage of it. Plays it up and in. So now Eldridge trigger for the Redbirds. We have Sam Odia Kosa and Emmanuel Holloway on the floor with Cyrus. Here's Phillips. Slipped it down to Odia Kosa who laid it in. Nice pass Lloyd Phillips. Well, as, one, as long as you can get penetration that deep into the lane, somebody's got to stop you. And when they do, then they're giving up an open look. Great recognition by Lloyd Phillips. For Oakman, that's just guarded by Phillips now. Near steal by Emmanuel Holloway, overplay that time. He's guarding Kerwin. Now it's Eggleson, he's gonna try to back down on Sam Hay. So Cyrus comes over for a double team. And there's gonna be a foul, and we'll see it's gonna be against Eldridge. It looks like yes, wow. indeed, that'll be his. I don't think I agreed with that. I think he might have a justifiable argument right there. <laughs> he came away with the ball. Here's the Cedar again. He's a large one. Short shot is no good. Odia Kosa was trying to help Sam Pay on the double team there, and it may have just, just put him enough. Yeah, that's right. And and bothering him enough, one thing, but finished it off with the reach. That's the important thing. You can't give him second chance points. Eight on the shot clock now. Phillips driving. Floater is missed. Oh. Cleared by Eggles. And it's stolen away in the back by Phillips. He's going to fire up a from right in front of the Redbird bench. That's missed. Now oh. Eggles Cedar again comes away with it. Holloway landed hard. And he's mentioned that he needs to come out of the game. Now it's O'Rear. Now it's Dunham. His three is good. And we're tied. I think Mr. Holloway has injured his right wrist when he came down on the missed rebound attempt, he lost his balance, and he's on that wrist like it's something not right. He, he zips over to the Redbird bench to get some medical attention. That'd be a critical loss for the Redbirds if Hollow can participate any longer in this game. Seattle Odzik has checked in. That's him with the basketball. We're all even at 42. 13 and a half here to go at Cedar Falls. Kurt Pegler, Bob Morris with you on Comcast. Olympic college football game here in the Missouri Valley Conference. The first place Panthers, the second place Redbirds. It has lived up to its billing thus far. Five on the shot clock. Phillips gets a screen from Sam Pei. Stutter step, his short jumper, no good. Offensive rebound, Dima Odiakosa in traffic. Tony's block and it's fouled. What effort right there. I tell you what, every time you have a sequence on offense, whatever end of the court you're on, it is just a a monumental effort by both squads right now. They're, they're just really going at it. They're just, both teams are playing hard-nosed defense. They're re rebounding, great tensing and effort. Let's see if Dima can knock down a couple of free throws here this half. Oh. We did everything but go. He's got to find a rhythm here. He's struggling. Young man is struggling at that line, particularly tonight. And in games such as this, those be crucial. Rubin is checked in now. He represents Spelger. Rubin, Odzik, Viacosa, Oguchi, and Sam Pei. Five on the floor for the Bruins. We got a team violation, it looks like. Sam against Pei. the Redbirds, yeah. And that's too bad because that one's rolled in. <laughs> Diva shrugs his shoulders and throws his up like I make one and take it away anyway. <laughs> We are under 13 minutes to play, and we're all even at 42. And a steal by Odiakosa. He comes right back on the defensive end. He finds other ways to contribute. When he's not making free throws, he can do so many other ways, so many other things to contribute. It's amazing. Oh. Now we've got a whistle. We've got a foul against the Redbirds at the top of the key. Wow. It's going to be on Sam Pei trying to set a screen. Yeah, they called it a move screen. Looking over at the red bench at Emmanuel Hollis, doesn't appear that he even has ice on that wrist, and that's probably a good sign. Well, I, I, yeah, I believe that it definitely is a good sign. So 
so I'm a lot better if I yeah. see him come check back in. I'm guessing we're gonna, yeah, I'm going to guess we're going to see him again because he's not receiving any more medical attention. He has no ice on his wrist. And a steal by Alex Rubin on Hellig, uh, Helligba. And now the ball's on the floor. Ozdek comes away with it. He's fouled on the backcourt, it looks like. They're going to jump. Arrow favors Illinois State. Great effort by both Alex and Siad to get after it. That is the eighth steal for the Redbird defense. There's a shot Emmanuel Holloway. Steals tonight for the Redbird D. That's off. Great, great, great energy level. And great preparation. That is one thing that they were looking for, as we saw today in their shoot around, is they were overplaying the picking lane on, on ball reversal. Sam Pay shoots over Eggleston, who got a piece of that. But the big fella had that shot redirected that time. He's such a big body down low. When you make a move on him, it's got to be something quick. It can't be a deliberate, deliberate move because he has to set himself and be, be a factor then. The hell now it's O'Rear with 10 on the shot clock. Eggleseater down low with Sampe on him and a foul on the birds. He's allowed to get the ball too low that time because then he didn't have to try to maneuver to get a shot off. And in the process of going straight up for the lay-in, he was fouled from backside, and I think it was Champa Gucci that got him. And he'll have free throws when we come back. We're all even at 42 with 11.31 to go here at Cedar Falls. Dance, move, even the smallest step counts. Celebrate the Day of Dance for Health. February 28th from 8 a.m. to noon at the Heartland Community College Workforce Development Center. Admission is free with donation of new perishable food items or a cash station for the Midwest Food Bank. Day of Dance, sponsored by Broman Healthcare and Heartland Community College. For more information, please visit our website or call 1-877-270-4968. Julie, look what's new at McDonald's. You can get quality ice mocha and a caramel latte. Or a vanilla cappuccino. All your favorite flavors, including hazelnut at great prices. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Plus favorite specialty coffee with only one stop. Quality, value, and quality service. Here you go. Thanks. Can I have my lot of whipped cream? You don't need a lot, Bob. Okay, just a little, Jules. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Now is the time to see what's new in Uptown Normal. And you visit whether by foot, on a bike, or in a car. Remember to practice caution and safety. Drivers should yield to pedestrians in the crosswalks. Bicyclists should dismount when in pedestrian areas. And everyone is encouraged to be aware of their surroundings and use courtesy with others. Come to Uptown Normal today. Uptown Normal, changing the definition. All even here at Cedar Falls, Silver State 42 and Northern Iowa 42. Kurt Peckler, Bob Morris with for Illinois State Basketball. And our next Stepwise game at Comcast will be Saturday's game at Redbird Arena, a 3.05 start against the Bradley Braves. Illinois State and Bradley, rematch of a game by the Braves on January the 6th in Korea. That is a 3.05 start time on Saturday. And you'll see it live right here on Comcast. Those are always wild terrors. And they will be once it will be once again because it's already a sellout. So if you don't have a ticket, join us on the broadcast. Jordan Eggleseeder. 7-1, 280 pounds. He's got six career double doubles, and three of them are this year. We've mentioned here the broadcast, the first seven-footer to play basketball here at Northern Iowa. And that is his point of the game. He's given the Panthers a one-point advantage of 43-42. Belgium works baseline. It's going to be blocked that time on. Great take that time by Osiris. Didn't quite get the corner turned, partially because he wasn't bumped. Back door, the pass was intended for Alex Rubin. And Hay comes down with it. Osiris Eldridge for three. That is in and out. <laughs> Can't buy one at the moment. Eggleseater short shot. Missed it. Uh, on the rim for the Rippers. Here's Eldridge. Floater high off the glass. No good. Sam Hayes again. And he's tied up, it looks like. And this time the possession there favors the Panthers. 
He was basically sandwiched. He had nowhere to go, nothing to do. And had he tried to clear his way out for the line, this would have been called for an offensive foul. So I think just taking the ball and taking the jump ball situation was probably the best scenario he could have come away with. And then you turned the possession arrow around in your favor. in at the next whistle, they're at the strip station. It's time to see Holloway back up. Yes, it is. That's very encouraging. I was, I was a bit nervous when I saw him holding the wrist. Halligba hangs and fights. Missed the shot. Redbirds do a nice job again on the defensive end. One and done for Panthers. Here's a good shoot. Now it's Isaac. Got that three. or rear closed nicely. Welcome low to Sampay in traffic. Ball knocked out of his hand. Out of bounds. So we'll see how and Phillips come in. Odds they can move in, go out. Re-entering the game for the Panthers is Cook. He'll send Egglesey to the bench, and now Ken Jacobs in is in two more players. Baroque finished, the hot hand from the free line. He comes in, as does Travis Brown, the lone senior on the Panthers roster. Jeff Moran is out, so is Bruin Dunn. Under 10 minutes to go. College basketball game we're witnessing. One point Panthers lead. Now take advantage again. Oh, got a foul. Yep. They saw the isolation right there. They put Phillips, I should say, the Redbird for the isolation with, with Sam Payne. Oh, oh, rear. And because of that, he be they believe they, he can take him anytime he wants to the hole. And in the process of stopping him, they drew the foul. They called it before the shot, though. Trying to go back door to Eldridge, who now works the baseline. Hangs, fires, and oh scores. My. Tough shot. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shamoles was an acrobat. The Redbirds were initially trying to get him free for a, a baseline lob. It looked like a backdoor play, and that fell they got it to him. And he, he hit a more difficult shot. The, de the degree of difficulty went up. Here's Cook. Oh, to foul, no, it's going to be a big on Chippaguchi. Fourth personal for Gucci. So that's a big foul. Yeah, that was. No question about it. And it appears as if the Red Birds are going to bring him in a game. And Demo Post is going to get to the scores table, so the next whistle will come in. Perot finishes three, is missed. And it's down by Osiris Elch, but now he's stripped from behind by Brown. We've seen that on both ends of the floor. Both the Panthers and the Red have done that a couple times tonight. No quit in either of these two teams tonight. Here's Cook. He's trying to force him on one situation with Oducci to drop a foul. When he could do that, then he puts up a shot that he can't be kind of like Osiris can't get him to go tonight. He's 0 for 8 from the field. He's not have a field goal. Here's a Mitchell Holloway. That's missed. Hound gets it for the Panthers. Helix all the way down. Laid it up. Missed it. And the ball is out of bounds to Panthers. Well, Brandon Champe looked like he landed hard. Yeah, he, I don't think he's up yet. I, I can't see him. I, he has gone down and still hasn't gotten up. And he, there's John Moore printing over to the corner with which Sam went down. Several of the birds are over there trying to give assistance to Munn. And as they now retreat to the bench, we got Coach Jagovich coming over to survey the situation. We've got another look here. Sam Pei and a Heligba going for the loose ball. And Sam Pei comes up whipping. Yeah, well, he took a hard fall right to concrete, it looks like, but he is up and on his own power, making his way towards the bench. Very gingerly, though. Hopefully, he can walk off and be the second time tonight he's had to walk off the form of painful injury. There's no timeout here, so the officials are trying to. Brad Gaston is trying to say, okay, fellas, you got to come back on the floor because we don't have immediate time just yet. Ben Jacobson taking full advantage of that over there with these chart budget. Diagram as quickly as he can, trying to get something set up. Helen Thornton is going to come in the game now. He replaces, I guess, a Gucci, and Sanchez left the game in favor of Dima Odiakosa. 
Alan Thornton comes in, brings a fresh set of legs into the, the post position. Here's Rokmanish. Again, a little flip on the lane. Can't get it. Got a defensive rebound. Knocked out of his hands, though. Holloway comes down with it. Lloyd Phillips attacks from the right. Drew Conn. It's going to be a foul against you and I. By attacking the basket, they're drawing some fouls. Create situations with their athleticism and speed. And now we've got a timeout on the floor. Illinois State 44, Northern Iowa 43. Back with more from Sea Falls. Second half action continues in a minute. When your doctor recommends GI, Dr. Motter and Dr. Kutro provide you with state-of-the-art advances in GI technology. Now available capsule endoscopy. In capsule endoscopy, a patient follows a camera pill with its own power and light source. It takes tens of thousands of photos as it travels through the body. These pictures help us determine the cause of many gas and other problems without invasive procedure. State of the art from Dr. Mott and Dr. Kusro at the Gastrointestinal Institute. Redbirds as they face Indiana State February 7th at 1 p.m. at Redbird Arena. And you are definite Redbird Honda in Bloomington. Our goal in 2009 at Honda in your garage. Honda, fuel efficient, long lasting, and fun to drive. Honda wins the 2000 test retail value from Kelly Blue Book. Civic, Civic Hybrid, and Fit, safety and economy. Pilot and Odyssey, date, passenger comfort, and the best travel bit anywhere. A car of standard in family cars for town and country, all with special leases. So, what's in your garage? Can you be definite Brad Barker, Honda, him, and Fun Fun Cars! cars. Kurt Pegler, Bob Morris, back with you at the McLeod Center on the campus of the University of Northern Iowa, where Illinois State leads Northern Iowa 44-43 in that timeout. Brandon Sampe was doing some baseline running back for it, so it appeared to maybe he was kind of well, Gimpy coming up, but I, I didn't see him. It didn't appear that he was favoring an ankle as doing those windshields. Well, it, it looks like it might be a cramp. I see yeah. trainer John Munn over there with the leg extended, Brandon's left leg extended, and he's pushing the toe back up, which is usually the universal sign for somebody's got a cramp. Meanwhile, Lloyd Phillips is at the free throw line for the Redbirds. First one that went in. As does the second. First two foul shots of the night for the Redbirds. Come with eight minutes to go. It's only the second person to shoot right. free throws for the Redbirds. Team has got the other five. <laughs> and the Redbird looks three at 46-43. We are glad you're alongside here on Comcast. Terrific college basketball game here in Cedar Falls. Here's Lucas O'Rear on the baseline. He's double teamed. Kick out. Travis Brown three. Missed it. Ball tipped up. O'Rear offensive rebound. Pump take and change the time again. Three point play. Well, on the original miss, two thirds went up and they actually battled each other for the board and lost it. And that. Go rear the opportunity to get the rebound when he went back up. He did a wonderful job. Shot take, got two defenders, two birds up in the air, and then drew the foul as he finished it off. We'll see the replay here. Dima and Oak knocked it out of each other's hands, and then boom, you get Helen Thornton and Dima go up on the shot pick. Great body control. And I mean, it wasn't anything intentional. There. It was just an excited excitement after the play that he knocked down the field. The sophomore from Nashville, Illinois, has tied the game at 46. He is now in double fix with 10 points. And he got the crowd back into the game, probably as big a factor as anything else. Which we'll see how they respond. And there's going to be a reach in against the Panthers. Could you? A helicopter. That's his second, and the sixth team foul against North Iowa. Cross on its feet. 
Eldridge. Off his knee and out of bounds. Redwoods turned it over. Too much dribbling. Too much dribbling right there in, in a uh, situation to hit requiring. It's been a well-played basketball game. Both teams with just clean turnovers of these and with seven minutes to play. That is, I mean, as hard as the game's been played by both squads, that, that's an incredible low number. If there's a score here, this place will just be rough. Brown to three. Oh, and a foul underneath on Brad Sampay. The basket's good. And they're going to the line for a one and one. It could be a five-point possession for the Panthers. Wow. Here's the script underneath. It's O'Rear and Sam Pei. Oh, goodness. If they're going to call that, they could call a foul on every recent scenario. <laughs> Acting job. But there's no reward for it. Because O'Rear missed free throw. Tim Jankovic wants timeout. And step aside, 6.34 to go here at the McCook Center. The Panthers lead the Redbirds 49-46. Fresh means better, and nobody has fresher meat than College Hills Meat Shop. Get it your way. Do you ever really? At College Hills Meat Shop you do. Order what you want, any size you want, and as much as you want. We'll have it packaged up right and cut right for your table or freezer. And you have a good day. The College Hills Meat Shop is not a good, it's our business. For the widest selection of fresh hand meat, delicious homemade sauce, and sausages, visit College Hills Meat Shop in Normal. Looking for a way to get in shape without breaking the bank? Illinois State University Recreation Services. Whether you're a student or a community member, we offer a variety of membership options and perks to fit your wallet and your lifestyle. Personal training, group fitness, racquetball, basketball courts and track, plus much more. Fit in something new and get active for less with Illinois State University Recreation Services. For more information, call 438-PLAY. Visit our website or come stay us at the corner of Beach and Willow in Normal. Cybernet technology, focused radiation beams that destroy tumors of the brain, lung, liver, spine, and other areas without surgery. The CyberKnife service at the Community Cancer Center, giving patients new hope. A point shot by Travis Brown has given the Northern Iowa Panthers three-point lead at 48-46. Panthers are 8 of 18 from three-point land. They're shooting it at 44% from the arc, which is about 7% higher than they typically do. So they're above their three-point average we mentioned. All the cast long that they're a very good three-point shooting team, and they're proving it here tonight. Yeah, they are. Ali Farrakh Nash is the one who's set from the damage. He's four of those eight. And Brown has six, so in a reserve role, he's come off and the bench and really played well. Hit some big shots for Ben Jackson's team. Not a basketball to be played yet, so this is a game to watch. Both teams have been in a man-to-man -man exclusive. There's three seconds to go on the shot clock now as they double-team Cyrus Eldridge right on the sideline. Puts up the shot. It's short. Front of the rim. And it's saved from Brown. Brown did a nice job keeping that ball alive for the Panthers. A Gooch is back up. He's at the score school. He's coming in on the next whistle. Here's O'Rear. He's got Sam Pei. Lob down low. It's Cook. Double team. He's on the baseline. He's in all kinds of trouble. And it's a three-second violation. Red double teamed him, and he was caught between a rock and a hard place. And they did it. I mean, that was just terrific discipline on the defense. Nobody went up in the air on a shot at any point in time where he could draw the foul. So therefore, he was stuck in that lane. He couldn't go anywhere. Great defensive sequence. But we got Champa Gucci in the game now for Brandon Sampe. 
Redford just to lob it down low to Odia Costa, picked off by Brown. He's got some big minutes for the Panthers. He's huge off the bench for him, huge. Here's Farokman, it's down the lane. He flipped it up. We approach the five minute mark left in this. This is like two heavyweight boxers just exchanging blows, standing toe to toe and swinging away. A hell of a down the lane, off the left, short. Holloway comes to for the Redbirds. Made his eighth rebound tonight to go three points. Again, they deny the entry pass. Huh? Hellenbach and Hollis Hellenbach. This place is erupting. They are on their feet. There is a person in this building that's not cheering loud. There's a lot of crowd, home crowds, that can take a lesson from the crowd tonight on how to help the team. and scores off the glass. Great recognition of the clock. Took the crap noise right out of it. Great finish by Lloyd Phillips right there. Penetrating terrible. Who's going to have the best legs, I think, is down the stretch is going to be vitally important. A hell of a buck. And now we've got a whistle. We've got Ben Jacobson who wants a 30-second timeout. Well, when you think about the last three Redbird possessions, it's not Chantucci, it's not Osiris Eldridge. There were two people who were going to the post, intended for Dima Odiacosa, and this was Lloyd Phillips. The Lloyd Phillips the player. Yep, that's right. And you sometimes, how to attack a defense is based on matchups. And, and yes, your best players want them involved, but sometimes their involvement isn't necessarily the shot that you're, that they're, they're the ones going to receive the shot. We'll see here that Dima's setting the screen and Phillips gets the switch, recognizes it, and takes it to the hole because nobody rotates to pick him up. He knows he can burn, but it was cooked to pick him up, and he did. He blew right by him, and nobody rotated over, and he took it right to the cup, and he finished. And that puts Phillips in double fix. He's known the state's leading scorer with 10. And so for open is going to trigger for the Panthers. As we approach three and a half minutes left here in this one. Here's Cook. Now it's a hell of a with a tough that goes down. Big jump shot made by Kajoa Heligba. Once again, when the pants go on deep, this crowd gets to its feet and gets a game. There's a Gucci who flipped it up and in. Got a little spin on that one. He got a little bump right there. He went in and kind of knocked him off balance. And I don't think it was a foul. It was just a dental contact. And he made a more dramatic drive out of it than you would have thought needed. Champa Gucci with eight points now to a three-point Panther lead. Boy, Osiris Eldridge is really causing a hell of a headache on the deep event. Ten on the shot clock. Guess who's going to shoot? <laughs> Redbirds come away with it. Good defense then. I'm not Wolfman, they should get a pretty good look at this at that time. It's a battle out there. There's players going down on every play. That's whoever. No matter who wins or loses, both teams are going to sleep well tonight. This, this is exhausting both. A three from Aguchi. That's a long rebound to Travis Town. He's one on one with Aguchi now. Wisely pulls it up till he gets some teammates to join him and they get up their half court offense. And good. Northern Iowa wants timeout. Travis Brown off the bench has nine points and four rebounds. He has really done well for the Panthers. He has been huge, you're right. The points and the rebounds seem to all come in critical moments in the, in the game also. Two minutes, one second to go. It's the Panthers of Northern Iowa in first place in the league at 53, Illinois State 50. Kurt Hagler, Bob Morris with you here. We're at the McLeod Center in Cedar Falls, Iowa, the home of Panthers. Here's another look at that last play by Gucci. Redbirds were hoping to get a three-point play out of it as he drew some contact, but he flipped it up and had a little English hand and rolled off the rim and in. We 
mentioned the importance of this game in the conference standings. The Panthers at 8-1 in the league have a game lead over Illinois State and Bradley heading into tonight's game. This is the first game of the second half of the Valley season. Everybody in the league has played two games. Two minutes to go. The shot clock. Five to shoot. A heli buff. Fade away. Missed it. Long rebound. It's Cook who's fouled. Cook comes up to rebound. Fouled by Rosario Selby. Adam Cook comes up with the offense rebound and he'll have free throws. Let's come back. Three point Northern Iowa lead 138 to go here at the McLeod Center. Don't go away. Fantastic finish. It's straight ahead. For good food, good people, and fun times, take a step off the beaten path and into times past. Order something from the extensive menu, try the daily special, or check what's new at the buffet. For light fare, visit the salad bar. Times past is a full bar, too. Time in, carry out, or call Art for all your catering needs. There's always a fresh face and plenty to do at Times Past Inn at Tawanda Plaza in Bloomington. Open seven days a week. Times Past Inn. Good food at the right price. Will Rogers, don't talk to me about the return on money. Talk to me about the return of my money. Just guarantee it and make sure it's going to be there. In 29 years of helping individuals with their investment savings plans, people have one desire regarding their money above all, and that is for safety. Today, there are ways to experience the potential of market-type rates of return protecting your principal. If this strategy, growth with safety, is appealing to you, contact us today, and we'll show you exciting new alternatives for your money. Help it grow. Keep it safe at the same time. Since 1967, Quality Truck Equipment is Bloomington Normal's only truck equipment upfitter. Quality Truck handles the highest in truck bodies available, from dump trucks to service vehicles and everything in between. Let Quality Truck Equipment Professionals dismiss all truck body tailored to your needs. Not only will we give you money up front, our higher quality bodies will far outlast the cutter bodies found on car lots. Quality Truck Equipment, conveniently located at 1201 Bell Street in Bloomington. Panthers locked in a good one here at Cedar Falls. A minute 38 to play. Northern Iowa with a three-point advantage. The Redbirds looking for their second Missouri Valley Conference road win of the season. They won their road opener at Missouri State in overtime. Have dropped three straight from home in the Valley. Trying to get within a game of the first place Panthers who won eight straight basketball games. They lost their conference opener at home in double overtime to Indiana State and have rattled off eight in a row. Adam Cook misses. Oh Redbirds my. cannot come away with Travis Brown. Oh, my. The Birds, three players are on the basketball, and Brown somehow came over. Well, they all thought the other one was going to secure possession, and none of it, except Brown. So another offensive possession now for the Panthers. We're going to try to run some clock here. They've got a three-point lead in the ball. For finish, down the lane, reach in, foul. Oh, 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 my. Yikes. Baroque is an 82% free throw shooter, too. The frustration on that is that that hasn't been a foul that's necessarily been called all evening. In the first half, those were calls that the Redbirds were knocking free. Well, that's the 10th team foul against Columbia State, but the Panthers are now in the double bonus for the remainder of the game. Farokmish, F-A-R-O-K-H-M-N-E-S-H. They've got a couple of guys with some good last names on this team. All foul team. He splits the foul shots. It's a two-possession game. 54 for the Panthers with the Birds are going to have to do some things on the trends of the floor to get a victory out of this one. Now it's a two-possession game. With that at a minute left. She gives it to Phillips now, down the lane. Slips it down to Demo and it for the jam. What and a timeout called by ISU. What a phenomenal feed and a fabulous dunk. Odiakosa in double figures now with 10. With exactly one minute remaining. With a terrific assist on that play. Here's another look. He does the, uh, the defense and he slips the pass down to Odiakosa. He's able to get into the paint and attract this defender. And he does it, makes the pass, I should mean, without charging. He's in control once he gets in there. Flips that pass off and dunks her down. 
Pretty quick attack right there. Good job by the Redbirds. Now they've got to get a stop. They stopped the clock with the timeout. And it made it a two-point game. Comes back to one position. Comes down to the, you know, first. Love to hang your hat on defense. Comes down to that. A lot of game, lot of game time left. No question about it. But defense, defense is going to be vital from this point on. There you see. How big a pass that actually was. And the beautiful finish by the flush on with Dima. Now the Redbirds knew that they felt like they had a pretty good player in Lloyd Phillips, but I'm guessing they, uh, they just exceed their expectations as a junior college point guard coming in. As well now, it's, it's typically some of their full season before those junior college players really, you know, get the feel of Division One college basketball. And he has gotten the point near flawlessly for the Redbirds this season. He's got a .6 assist night here against the first place team on the road. He's done a great job in, in a big ball. Game. Now to focus for the Redbirds, takes the defense. Again, the Panthers are so difficult to defend. They're just so many players. It's going to hurt you. Here's Cook now. Spins out. It's so rare. They're a very good foul shooting team, too. That's why they're tough in the final minutes of a basketball game. A helicopter down the lane, flipped it up and in. Great pitch by, by him as he finished down. Now it's Phillips. Brooks on a pro finish. Kick out. A Gucci three. That's good. Wow. Timeout Redbirds. That was huge. It's a one point game. Absolutely huge because now if the Panthers come back and score a two pointer, it's a three point, which means it's a one possession game. We see Seattle Optic check back in during this timeout. More than likely for Champ Gucci because he's got four fouls and they need him on the offensive. But you're going to see. Offense for deep as we finish out this game. Good point. 3.9 seconds to go. Take us inside the huddle. What are they talking about? Well, you've got to have pressure on the ball at all times. But you've got to be able to do it without fouling because they are such a good free throw shooting team. Then you have to finish off the defensive end with a pull out and a strong reach. With 29 seconds left, then you can't just let the you get the ball down the floor. You are still behind, and you have to be aggressive once you do get it down to offensive end. Here you see Lloyd Phillips once again with the great drive finish kick out champ, and he flushes it. fouled in the backcourt by Sma Odiakosa with 14 one second to go in this one. He's going to walk down and shoot some free throws. He's 74% from the line of the season. Well, it's, I like that. You come out and you do something different that you've done all, all the, whole, the whole game. You put full court pressure on them, and even if you foul them, they're only going to score a maximum two points. You let them run half-court offense, which great shooters they got, there's a real good chance they're going to fly with the three. Certainly the Redbirds want to do a good job rebounding. The last time off the free they had three guys around the basketball and the Panthers came away with it. One more coming for a Halligba, who's going double figures. Got about his average. He's at 11.6 per game season. He's got 11 right now. Be interesting to see as we go down after the see who's going to step up for the Redbirds. And A, want to take the shot, and B, can they finish the shot? Three-point game. Here's Phillips. Phillips for three is hot. Is no good. Tip around and control by a helicopter. Out of the back. And that's going to do it if he makes these free throws. If he just makes one of them, it's a, it's a hand then. The Panthers looking to win the ninth straight game for the first time since the 1962, I'm sorry, 63 64 team of Norm Stewart won nine straight. Well, I'm going to give a lot of credit to the sixth man here tonight. The crowd that, was good. The home Echo. crowd. And I mean, they're a respectful crowd. They're a loud crowd, and they appreciate this ball club they've got going here at Northern Iowa. Great basketball game. Well, fans around the Missouri Valley Conference are seeing why this team is in place. They've made all the big plays at the end. Redbirds get the rebound, they call timeout. 
With 1.4 to go. The Panthers have made all the plays down the stretch and put the ball in the right hands of the guys that need to have their hands on the basketball. And this, obviously, this game was nipped and tucked the entire way. The Redbirds came ready to play tonight, and they have given it all their all. It's been one of the one of the better played games that I've witnessed here at, at you know at any point in time. It's been good basketball both directions. Clean basketball. When I mean clean, I don't mean there's not been a lot of fouls. There's not been a lot of turnovers. Both teams play hard, high level, high intensity. This is a statement game, no question, for Northern Iowa. That this is a team that's striving for respect. They've kind of been the Rodney Dangerfield squad of the, the Missouri Valley. They were picked sixth in preseason, and nobody believed that they had a chance. And yes, they are. Exactly two seconds on the clock. Well, the Panthers, if, as long as they don't fall, they're going to be in real good shape here. And that's going to do it. The Northern Iowa Panthers have won their ninth consecutive game. Now nine and one in the league. And they win tonight by a final score of 59 to 55. The Redbirds were all, they were in this game, Bob, from start to finish. Oh, no question. In fact, for much of the game, they had really the pace that they wanted. Well, and with these two squads, it's the pace that they both wanted, actually. They're very similar, very light squads, very lot of similarities in the two of them. The pace of was the both of their lives, I believe. Illinois State head basketball coach Tim Jankovic kind enough to come over and join us here for some post-game comments. Great basketball game all the way down to the end. Your guys fought to the, to the very end and just fell up four points short. I feel bad for the guys. I thought I thought we fought our tail off and uh, I can't fault them at all. It just didn't it just didn't go our way at the very last. But uh, I, I loved our look. I thought we played very very well and. Uh, Northern is, is obviously a, an outstanding team. They're run table in this league right now, but uh, really proud of our guys, absolutely. Coach, I thought you guys played, played on both ends, and it took a great effort on both ends to be in this game because the crowd was not going to let the Panthers have a letdown. They came at you with this thing, and you guys withstood, I think, and, and yeah, you came up a little short, but there's a lot of risk factor, I think. Oh, yeah. You know, they've won, uh, they've won nine in a row. You don't, you don't do that by luck. I mean, you've got... You got all the pieces. You got all the, all the, all those things. And, uh, I take my hat off for them. They're they're an outstanding team. Uh, uh, you know we, we fought tooth and nail. Uh, I, you know we did come up with a few balls late that really that really hurt. So we got one I think going to wait here in the corner that uh, we needed desperately. But uh, all you as a coach is, is just is good effort and togetherness, and we certainly had that time. It was a missed free throw that uh, I think three Redbirds were surrounding, and somehow Northern Iowa comes up with a trap. Brown yeah. came off the bench and played very well for him. If, that, if the ball goes your way, it could be a different ball. Yeah, we, we needed that ball uh, desperately, but uh, didn't get it. And uh, I know there'll be some really disappointed guys in the locker room, but uh, I'm not disappointed with them. Well, you got to fire up the troops and see for Saturday's game against Bradley, I guess, huh? That's exactly right. Thanks, Tim Jankovic, Thank head coach of the Redbirds, joining us for some post game comments. His Redbirds fall just short tonight, 59 55, a well played college basketball game. Back with more from the McLeod Center in just a minute. Fanbase Insurance has been a resource of insurance services in Central Illinois since 1946. Agent John McGrew specializes in helping small business owners review their insurance needs. Whether you're just starting a business or getting ready to expand your company, call John McGrew to discuss your options for comprehensive and affordable coverage. Visit our website at vangundy.com or stop in our office and insure with confidence at Van Gundy Agency. Looking for a way to get in shape without breaking the bank? Try Illinois State University Recreation Services. Whether you're a student or a community member, we offer a variety of membership options and programs to fit your wallet and your lifestyle. Personal training, fitness, racquetball, basketball courts and track, plus much more. Fit in something new and get equipped for life with Illinois State University Recreation Services. For more information, call 4 3 play Visit our website or come see us at the corner of Beach and Willow in Normal. Dance, walk, move, even the smallest step counts. Celebrate the Day of Dance for Health, February 20th from 8 a.m. to noon at the Heartland Community College Workforce Development Center. 
Admission is free with a donation of non-perishable food items or a cash donation to the Midwest Food Bank. Day of Dance, sponsored by Broman Healthcare and Heartland Community College. For more information, please visit our website or call 1-877-270-4960. First place is the Iowa Panthers. Improved to 9-1 and one in the league with a 59-55 gut check victory over the ISU Birds here at McCook Center at uh, Northern Iowa. Kurt Peck, Morris back to, I'll tell you what, if you have no allegiance and you're just watching a college basketball game, you feel like you've got your money tonight. Of course, Redbird fans are disappointed the team came up short, but even Tim Jankovic, who sat here a moment ago, said, you know what, you tip your hat to the team that beat you. He's not disappointed at all with the effort his Redbirds uh, came up with. Right? They just fell four points short. Yeah, no question that, you know, you can fault anybody's effort tonight because it was there. The effort was there. They just, you know, that you again, give credit to the team that, that won. Tonight, that was Northern Iowa. They played a great ball game, and they played against a great ball club. It was a good college basketball game, and, and, and again, from the purest point of view, that's the way the game's meant to be played. Hard from start to finish, clean, good, and tonight, the Panthers and Northern Iowa were the better club. Time now to name our... Uh, most valuable asset of the game, brought to you by Dennis Cagle Financial Services, and the most valuable asset, Lloyd Phillips, the point guard for 10 points and 7 assists tonight. He also chipped in uh, 3 rebounds. Here was one of the 3 point shots that he made. Uh, Lloyd Phillips again with a 10.7 assist tonight. He is the most valuable asset, brought to you by Dennis Cagle Financial Services. And the Redbirds uh, left scoring by both Phillips and Odiakosa. I, I should say, uh, Champaguchi had 11, and then the Redbirds had two others in double figures, Odiakosa and Lloyd Phillips. And we mentioned that uh, the Panthers have done a nice job as far as keeping some of the top players in the league and keeping them well below their score average. They did it to Shai Eli of Bill. They did it to Darren Wilson of uh, Bradley. They did it to uh, Drake's Josh. And tonight they did it to Osiris Eldridge. They held him to just four points. So, again, if you've not seen this, we'll play a skeptical. I, we, we saw tonight that they're the, the, the real deal. I'm going away a believer. That's a good team. No question about it. Uh, you know, at, in a short time, they'll they'll come to Bird Arena, and the, the outcome could be different. But tonight, the team we saw makes me a believer. I know why they are a top of the league. Question about it. the rest of the league. But a lot of chasing to do to catch that team. 59-55. North Iowa beats Illinois tonight. We're back to wrap things up for Cloud Center in just a minute. ISU Redbirds as they battle the Bradley Braves at Redbird Arena Saturday, January 31st at 3 p.m. February 